I am coming at you through the internet. Um, uh, I wanted to thank you for letting me give this talk, and especially to thank you for letting me talk about nerd stuff, not just about my comics. For those of you who don't know, uh, in addition to my comic Saturday morning breakfast cereal, I do a blog called The Wiener Works, where I'm currently teaching physics and discrete math and calculus. I get the sense I'm talking to a room full of geeks, so hopefully some of you are already familiar with a lot of this stuff. So today I want to talk about why I run that blog, um, but before I do that, I want to tell you a little bit about my life. I have it really, really good. I'm able to get up whenever I want, I go to bed whenever I like, I could sit around eating Oreos and video games all day. That is the life of a cartoonist. And yet, a couple days ago, and this, this is literally true, I was beating a physics textbook as a punishment for the fact that I could not get through this really elementary pulley tension problem without screwing it up. Why would I put myself through this sort of torture if I could have just spent the day eating Oreos and playing video games all day? And just to be clear, it does not help with the writing. It, it Learning concepts is useful for writing jokes, but getting the specifics of matrix multiplication does not make you funnier. I don't care what anyone tells you. Don't try it at a bar. Uh, so why would I do it? It doesn't help with my job. It, it stops me from my uh, uh, leisure time. Um, you're still in high school, and so you haven't necessarily experienced a lot of the stuff that gets tougher as you get a little older. And a lot of why life gets tougher is because you just know more people. You have more people who depend on you, more people who are your friends, more people you worry about and care about. And you also have dreams that get bigger. You achieve things and then you want to achieve more things and you decide they need to be done in a certain time frame and you're in a rush and it just gets more and more complicated. When I do math, that all fades away. For people who really appreciate math, it's sort of an almost spiritual thing. You know, you journey from confusion to understanding to delight. And, you know, one of my favorite examples is uh, the uh, Taylor expansion for sine, uh, right? Because it's this infinite polynomial, which is really weird because you've been taught sine in trigonometry class as this wobbly thing or as this ratio of triangles as you go around the unit circle, you know, and then you see this polynomial and you're like, where in the hell did this come from? Uh, and you're confused and maybe you're beating your textbook. Uh, I don't know how you handle it, but you graph it and it's the same and you try your calculus tricks and it's the same and you try your old trig formulas and they all work, even the weird ones that you don't remember, like half-angle formulas and stuff, that stuff you only memorize for tests, it all still works. And you start to think, maybe I'm the one who's stupid, it's not this formula that came from nowhere. And you keep working on it, and you keep thinking about it, and finally it just clicks in your head. You finally understand it is just uh, the same thing as the sign you've been using all along. And you get it, and you get it really well, and then all of a sudden, you can't even explain to people what you were confused about because it makes so much sense now. Um, I really love getting that experience, um, that experience of understanding a math idea, you know. And once you understand it, it's like putting a, a strut in the architecture of your understanding. It's not just a thing in itself. It connects to all the other stuff you already know, and it also allows you to build up from there. It's, it's a really great feeling. I don't know that there is a word exactly to describe it. In the arts, we call it the sublime. The sublime meaning something like that which is at once beautiful and immense. Uh, a lot of people don't know this about me, but I actually have a degree in literature, not in, not in math or physics. I, most of the rest of it's just self-taught. Uh, so if you meet me, I'm about as likely to be nosing through a book of poetry than... Uh, a, a book of math. So I have, a, I have a lot of appreciation for the beautiful and the, the sublime. And the feeling I get when 
I understand something mathematical, especially something beautiful in its logical structure. It's the same feeling of completing a, a great book or listening to a great song. Um, it's exactly the same. It's that feeling of being little and immense at the same time. It's like being a like being a drop in the ocean, but also knowing exactly how the whole ocean works. Um, when you learn mathematics, you're not just learning stuff. You're learning the language of the universe. You're learning a way to uh, talk to reality. If aliens landed tomorrow and you went up to the aliens and said, hey, let's let's trade sorting algorithms, they would probably have quicksort because it's it's that fundamental of a method for list sorting. Uh, to me, that's really cool. Uh, uh, Ernest Hemingway in the 1920s was in Paris and he always referred to it afterward as a movable feast, uh, a feast he could take anywhere. That is what it was like to be young in the days after World War I. Uh, in Paris was something he could always take with him that was always of benefit to him. There's a sense in which knowing mathematics is also a movable feast because it means if you have a book or even if you don't have a book, if you have these concepts in your head, you can always explore them. So you always have this movable feast, this way to always commune with everything. It's, it's just a, a great feeling to know that wherever you are, whether you're in a park or you're on a train or in a dorm room or in a classroom, maybe not paying attention, you can really commune with the whole universe. That's why I choose to do math when I could very well be just eating Oreos and playing video games all day. And I hope you uh, choose to do the same.